Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. So what we're gonna do today is play with some envelopes, uh, window envelopes. And um, these ones aren't the number 10 uh, window envelopes like that digital that I have. So we're just gonna use um, just the envelopes and some paper. So what I have done, you can probably see here, is I have cut this envelope uh, sort of in half. I wanted to do um, the pocket thing kind of like um, I did with the um, uh, postcards. So this is along the lines of that because all you're doing is taking this half of the envelope, then you're cutting lines in it. I do the little punches on it just to give it a little extra, I don't know, it kind of is a cool look I think for pockets. Sorry, I'm trying to find my little hole punch. I just use the itty bitty little hole punch and uh, punch those holes in. And then I've added just a stamp because it looked like something like this with just the uh, prepaid postage thing on there or whatever, you have to have a stamp. So, um, and just did a little collage there and a stamp. And then on the inside here, I added a piece of paper just because it was the white inner part of the envelope. And then what I would do is just glue this. I also added a piece of paper right here, just coffee dyed paper at the back that I glued around all four edges, just the edge, because that's what gives you this pocket. And the only reason I did that is because if you uh, leave it open to the back envelope, obviously you're gonna have an even deeper pocket and um, things could fall all the way through or get caught up with the other tag that you put in this pocket. But you can glue it onto a journal page, you know, the three sides, and then you'll have a pocket back behind it. You'll have the pocket in the envelope, and then you'll have all these little pockets here. Hold on just a second, my radio's on and I forgot. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but um, anyway, <laughs> I didn't want it to be irritating. So um, anyway, that's what I did there. And then, you know, just this is all stuff from my in the city digi here. Um, there's just a little collage. That's from that Sears and Roebuck that my sister gave me. Um, these are pieces from the Stamperia paper pad. This is just a little tag here. And so I will fill that um, another one from my digi and I'll fill that up. And then this one is the other side of that. All I did was fold it down like this, you can see, and then I folded it up and then we can decorate, you know, or put something on the inside so that it looks nicer and then just glue this. Here you could choose to glue this down entirely, which is, I think is what I would do with this one just because of the way this um, pocket is, but you could have a tuck up there if you wanted to. So I thought what I would do is take another envelope and just kind of, you know, go through at least the, that little, um, slit pocket part and then I've been playing with envelopes doing some other stuff and you'll see that in tomorrow's video but um this one has a really cool security uh design on the inside so I thought it would be fun to turn this one this way and instead of doing this pocket like this I think I'm gonna do one you know just like that so all it is is the envelope it's this half of the envelope I did cut off another little portion of this pocket but I just cut down there took this flipped it this way just because I like this design if you don't like your design obviously you can choose to cover the whole thing leave it with the white side out however you want and then I think what I might do I'm trying to decide if I want to cut the slits like this and keep where that is I mean I'm just going to collage anyway on there or do I want to turn it more like the other one is I'll still put a stamp and stuff there. That would mean uh, collaging this a bit, which would be fine because, you know, it's just white. So I think I might do it that way. And then I was going to use that as a tag. Anyways, so let's do this part first. So I'll get this collaged a little bit just so it's not quite so, you know, whatever. <laughs> whatever you want to call that. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to use some of this. And this is my, um, in the city, I just shrunk it down using that um, print to size app that I was telling you guys about. Uh, so these are the whole pages, I just shrunk them. So 
it's just kind of nice to do collage like on envelopes or something with the smaller size because you get more of the details in instead of maybe just getting you know one little corner of it so um but of course do it however you like so i hope you're all having a good day i had a good day yesterday i tried to just get uh some stuff done and like i said i've been working on you know getting just all this stuff together for taxes we i mean we keep a file of it all year so it's all in a file but it's also you know going online and printing out like my Amazon receipts and just, you know, you know, the garbage that you gotta do all the time, it seems like. So, um, yeah, not super fun. I think I kind of want to do this side a little bit more plain and maybe more interest over here. Cause if we're going to put a stamp, I don't want it to be quite this busy. Maybe, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Or I could go across the bottom with this too. Um, yeah, let's do it that way. So anyway, that's what I did yesterday was try to just get some of my stuff in order. My husband does our taxes like on TurboTax or whatever, one of those things. So like we do it that way, but we just keep track of everything all year, expenses and whatnot. And so I have to do my portion for my business and all that. And then he does you know all the putting it in the computer to make sure everything's right and good but yeah so that's what I was doing I'm hoping I'm mostly done I'm sure I'll still have to do a few other things I don't have my stuff from Etsy yet as far as like my 1099 or whatever it's called so I'll still have to do all that, but that's not that big of a deal. There's just always extra stuff. And like I said, I do have some projects that I need to get done around here <laughs> that have been sorely neglected over the last few years. Sorry, just grabbing some bits of paper. So this kind of thing is what I'm thinking for the top part, just to, you know, make it a little less, um, I mean, it's still kind of busy, but not as busy, if you know what I mean, because it's a little bit plainer color. So when you put a stamp up there, it's not just like this lost piece. Do you see what I'm saying? Do I want that there, or do I want... I think I do want this one here. I'm going to have to add some other bits, I think. Because this one's all jaggedy and weird. But yeah. Um, exciting stuff, right? <laughs> uh, I'm telling you. I posted a picture of my cat on Instagram if you want to see him watching the birds on YouTube because he's such a goofball and somebody said oh great you know babysitting for your cat so you can get some videos done it's like yeah except for the fact that I sit there and drink my coffee and watch him be a dork um watching the birds on, <laughs> on YouTube it's like yeah I'm really getting stuff done right he's just such a goof it cracks me up with that whole whole deal I've got this piece from medieval mirage I might use a little bit of that it's a scrap that I had I think it's her medieval fragments and I'm sorry Joff if I'm not right about that um I think that's what this is from I just have you know the bits so it's hard to always know what exactly I got it off of But anything, like I've said a million times when I was on her design team, if you like the look of any of it, just go over to her shop. You can't go wrong. Like, she just has the most beautiful designs. So, yeah, if you, if you like this, you'll probably like anything, even if you can't find that exact piece. So, but I think it was Medieval Fragments for that one. That's the only problem when um, stuff gets into your scrap bin. 
um, it can be really hard to <laughs> do that. Tell the difference between one kit and another. Or remember is probably more the problem. It's not that I can't tell. I just don't remember exactly what kit it's from. It's just a piece from a um, old pattern, McCall's pattern. I like to use those too whenever I can find them. I scoop them up at the thrift store, or wherever, wherever you, you find them. Okay, and then I'm just going to ink around the edge of that. I just think these are nice, fun, deep pockets. I have to glue that down. And I get a ton of junk mail envelopes, it seems like, so it works out perfectly to do that. So let's glue this little piece that's flapping back here. Oh, and I forgot to do anything with my glue. <laughs> I'm never going to remember that, even though I really need to remember to do that. I can't seem to make it happen. Okay, so I kind of, because I like that pattern, I think I'm going to punch a bigger thumb notch in this one. Just, you know, a little bit bigger. So you can see some of that pattern back there. It's just kind of fun and I'll ink it a little bit. I had already inked that right. Isn't that always the way? Then what we're going to do is cut our lines so that we can put stuff into the little pockets. And I just kind of winged it. I didn't, um, I mean, I did kind of hold it up to my lines here because I, I want sort of an, an idea. How long is this? Oh, wow. I don't know if that's going to fit on a page. I thought I had checked to um, check my width there. Okay, well, we'll see what I can recover from that video. <laughs> I'm just jabbering away and nobody's there. So what I have done is taken, I don't, I don't know what you saw. So I took my envelope, I flipped it you know, this way. This piece is cut off of the same envelope, you can tell by the inside. And then um, I've collaged over the front of it and inked it and cut my thumb notch. So we're ready to cut the slices in that. And I'm going to back up just a tiny bit because I feel like I'm right up in your grill. So um, I did about a half an inch apart on the lines. So that's what I'll do again. And I'm sorry if I don't end up recovering that first half of the video. Ugh, I apologize. I don't know. Can't seem to, nobody can seem to figure out what the problem is. I'm getting a new phone soon, so I'm hoping. And I know I haven't had this one very long, but it's driving me out of my mind. Because we've tried like everything we can think of and we don't even know why it just all of a sudden will turn off. It just doesn't even make sense. So you can see there's these lines here on my mat, and that's what I'm I'm using. And I just come down, uh, this is a little over an inch. However, you can do it however you want. There's no, like, specific way to do it. It's just going to affect where your pockets are. And so I think I've got about, I'm going to put this right on the inch mark so that I can keep them even from side to side. Obviously, that's kind of an important thing to do. So if we come in about a half an inch, that will be, um, yeah, we'll come to about, let's see, that's a, not quite a half, so I'm going to have to just do a few ticks over to come to about there. 
and that'll give me about a half an inch that line right there before the five well two before the five what is that seven eighths or whatever yeah i suck at that okay so then we're going to come down another half an inch this way and do the same thing and if they you know aren't totally exactly the same it's not gonna be a big deal you know i don't do a lot of measuring but um yeah for this i'm i am doing a little bit so i have about a half an inch that one came over a little further and so i'm just gonna follow it to the end of you know so my lines are about the same length is what you want and then you can decide if you want just three lines or do you want four lines or do you want you know whatever the thing is however many lines that you choose. Okay, I'm gonna do four. And then we'll put a piece of coffee dyed paper on the back, oops, let me get this. Up there. And those are all nice and cut. I keep grabbing the wrong one. I have two that have purple handles, and even though the purple's a little bit different, I always get them mixed up. Ugh. So I'm just going to the very end of those lines, you know, where your starting point, and I'm just punching a little hole. And this isn't something you have to do. So if you don't have one of these itty bitty ones, don't worry about it. I mean, you can just have the slits. It doesn't. It just adds a little something. I went that too far that way. Hi, hi, hi. You guys are probably yelling at me, huh? Couldn't see that with me old eyes. Okay. I'm going to do another one just because I don't like that. And we will fake that spot out with our scissors. <laughs> That's the awesome part about doing grungy, right? You can kind of like, um, you know, I didn't mess up there. What are you talking about? I meant to do that. We're just going to make it look a little grungier up to there. I made no mistakes. <laughs> sure. I mean, you can clearly see that I did that, but maybe if we cut it just a little, it won't look quite so weird. All right, still looks weird, but it's okay, because it's going to have stuff in it, so. But you could rough it up more if you wanted, or just, you know, be better than me and don't do that. <laughs> Don't mess it up in the first place and you won't have that problem. Right? Right. And then you can just stuff all kinds of stuff in these pockets. Cut that just a little bit more. There we go. Now it doesn't look quite as much like a hole. Okay. All right, so now we need a piece of coffee. Oh, I don't want to use that one because it's cut into a shape that I can use for something else. Let's see. I have my little, well, it's not little. It's a big box full of just random paper over here that I can grab when I'm doing videos because it's really hard to stop and go, you know, get some other piece of paper. So I'm just going to roughly get an idea of where I'm not going to measure I'm not going to do any of that because it's just to cover that back spot so that you've got a pocket so it doesn't have to be perfect it just needs to be a pocket so let's take off about there just so it's not hanging out and then you kind of want to take it to you know sort of the bottom of your pocket so you get use out of this bottom pocket Otherwise, that's not very effective. I did it a little smaller in the other one, so. But you just go around the edge. Yep, 
Yeah, it's really weird when my phone shuts off like that because the video doesn't even show up at all. That's why I never know because like I did check to see where I was at, but it's like doesn't appear at all like it never happened. But then later it'll show up. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm going to have to cut that because I got too carried away. Again with the um, circle. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, and it's not holding battery charge either, which I think it just gets so abused. Like, I mean, I use that phone. It's mainly for work. I mean, obviously I use it too for like, you know, my kids calling or anybody calling me and all that, but it really takes a beating with work. Kind of crazy. It's the video thing that kill them. In my opinion, I could be wrong. I could not know what I'm doing. That's very possible. Um, let's see. It's just my son's pretty good at all that, and he doesn't even know why it does the things it does sometimes. So that's kind of a cool stamp. It's got a lady on it. You probably can't see it very good. It'd be cool to find kind of a turquoisey colored one, wouldn't it? I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's a, it's a image. Oh, here's kind of the queen. She's got some funny little spots on her, too. That's kind of neat. This one's neat, too. It's a hand. An I think it's an Italian stamp. I like the queen better. I think the queen goes better color-wise. Okay, so we'll use that one. And, and you don't even have to use a stamp. Like, if you're like, I don't really want a stamp on mine, <laughs> then don't put a stamp on yours. <laughs> Um, I do like to put a little something behind it. I don't know why, because, you know, normal stamps don't have collages behind them, but, um, I don't know, it's kind of fun. Who knows why that would be there, but it is gonna be. Here's some graph which it's already kind of on graph, but we're going to put a different graph in a darker tone behind it. Okay. And we'll put a little gesso deli paper there. I did figure out somebody, it was Amy, uh, artisan crafter Amy, asked me to do doilies. Now I discovered you can't cut the tiny ones on the Glowforge because they just end up looking like a burnt mess. I mean, they might be kind of cool on something grungy, but um, I did finally find a doily I could use. The biggest problem I had with doilies is this. Most of the time it has this circle in the center and the Glowforge just wants to cut that circle out. So you end up with maybe a design on the outside and then nothing on the inside. Or there's like some type of cutout here that goes all the way off the edge and then the Glowforge just chops everything all to bits and pieces. Because it doesn't know, it just is following the lines, right? So it was hard for me to find one, but I did finally find one. So I'm going to try to have these in my shop, um, hopefully by tomorrow. So you'll see this video on Thursday. I'm hoping by Friday to have doilies in the shop. And I think at first what I'm going to do is just uh, white and craft. And then you could color them whatever color you want with your um, inks and whatnot. So that's the plan. And I think I'm going to put this actually on here. So anyway, I am working on it. <laughs> It's just always interesting. You think, oh yeah, doilies, that'll be easy. I'll just, you know, find some doilies or make some doilies or whatever. 
and it's not as easy as it sounds because of the way the lines are and I'm just not super great at um, programming it and doing all that so I you know I do the best I can with the abilities that I have but <laughs> I'm sure there are ways to make it happen I just am not real great at it I mean I'm still obviously learning it's huge learning curve with the Glowforge so yeah huge so anyhow that's where we're at with those because I'm not sure if any of you meant or heard me mention I was like oh yeah I could do doilies when she asked about that and I didn't really think it through on how those would cut out and the same I have the same problem with stencils and stuff too because sometimes you think oh that'll make a great stencil and then you cut it out and it's like oh no it doesn't because it just like cut it all you know wrong or whatever anywho that's the thing with that Maybe I'll put this on this side because I put my little mandala or whatever over there. My little doily thing. Maybe I don't need my piece of the painted. Yeah, I think I like it just like that. Sorry. My shaky. I cut my nails again. They're getting, like I broke a bunch and then I have some that are really long. It's like crazy. I need to fix it. Ugh, every time my phone makes that noise, I jump because I think it turned off again. Okay, so this one I am going to actually glue closed. I'm not, that one's going to go into my sample book um, so that I can remember. Wow, this just did not happen at all right here. So make sure your little page is glued down back there. Um, yeah, it's going to go in my idea book my colossal tome of concepts book so this one will go in the journal so i will steal all the little things from it and put it in here we'll glue down this side and this side and voila and i probably will stitch too Okay, so then let's find all the little things. Okay, and then these. This is just one of the um, journaling cards that are in the kit. And that's in the city is what that one's called. If you're like, what are you talking about? I didn't ink that one. This is from Stamperia. And it's just a piece of the scrapbook paper and I'm just going to put it in like it is because it could be put somewhere as a little tuck or journaled on the back. And this one didn't get it either. This is a tag from Stamperia. And that's the alchemy is what that uh, paper pad is called. Probably this boy. How did I not? I thought I did. I did do some of it, but I apparently didn't get the edge at all. Stick him there. This one, this pocket's a little bit bigger. Oh, let's see. I did these on book page, so um, oh, my hands. you can see. Sometimes you got to put a little extra glue on those glue pages because they just, you know. Are kind of haphazardly glued they're not really glued super great i'm gonna go in there this is one of the stamperia ones and I, you could add something to this and i may before everything's said and done but or you could use this side because this side's really cool with the turquoise i might actually put that side out just because i like that pop of turquoise and i shrunk these tags down using the um print to size that's why this one's so tiny, because it's normally the same size as that one back there. This is another Stamperia one, obviously. But I'm just basically showing you. You can put all kinds of stuff in these. They are fun, fun. Okay, so... 
that is that. You'll have a pocket here and then you can have a pocket behind it as well. And you could choose if you wanted to do one this way, do the same thing and then have your you know pocket over there. So that's that one all done. Oh, we could do some stamping on here really quick. Just a little something to make it look more canceled. but you do more if you want. Okay, so there's that. And then our other envelope. Set that one there. How did I put the other piece out to here? Okay, so this one definitely, I kind of want something in here to make it a little more interesting. And like I said, if you don't like like if you don't have a cool design on the inside or you just don't want to use the security part, then just keep it the other direction and um, collage around it. What I don't like about this is that you can see this plastic all the way around. So I am going to collage around the window, which is my least favorite thing to do, but um, I'm going to because I just think it'll look better. I might sneak her in the inside for when you don't have anything in the pocket. might be fun and again this is just one of the pages shrunk down could save her for a, ta a tag though I don't think you'll see her because if you put her on a tag I mean you could put her up higher sorry that's a loud <laughs> car going by Yeah, I think I'm going to put her in there. I just like her in there. Okay, how, how wide do I need it? I need it like about there. Okay. annoyed because I have no idea when that turned off. Sometimes I know kind of when it did so then I know where to start or whatever but I have no idea. Irritating. I'm not going to go all the way to the corner because that makes it tricky to close. Or all the way to the edge I guess not over the corner. Okay, and then what do we want to put around the edges? Let's just put little bits of stuff. I just want to cover up that shiny. I don't like that. <laughs> and it doesn't really work to like ink it or anything because it just doesn't. <laughs> so we're just going to do this all the way around. Just some strips of stuff. I won't need all of that. And we don't need all of this either. I want to kind of get as close up there to the edge as I can. And that'll work and I'll just trim that off. strip of this will work huh to give it some of that color and if it hangs over the plastic a little I really don't care because it's not a big deal if we lose a tiny bit of it right Ooh, yeah that'll take up that whole stretch
Yeah, so definitely look at the inside of your junk mail because some of them are real boring, you know, but some of the designs are kind of cool. So, let's see, what do I want to put on there? Maybe just some book page type stuff. Eighteen fifty nine. It says right there, so I'm gonna steal that little bit. This is this. Oh, it's doubled. Oopsie. <laughs> Didn't need to do that, did I? It's gonna be hard to do this, especially with this old paper. <laughs> if you're smart, you'll do it. Turn it the other way. But. I can't ever tear it the other way. I mean, what I'm trying to say is it helps if you tear and you have the majority of the paper on the side that you're tearing because it's easier to pull like that, but I did not have it that way. Left that up a little. Probably get covered anyway. Because it's the end. Do you want it this way? Yeah. Okay. And then a little something on the other edge. We don't want garbage or cremation. <laughs> oh, I like the 1902 down there, but that's not the best piece. <laughs> okay. Sort of sad and depressing, right? All the randomness all the randomness that we end up you know that floats around in our craft areas now with these old um, pieces it's kind of crazy when you think about it I'm gonna rip this one a little bit bigger because it's going you know down at the bottom and kind of haphazardly on this edge and then we can figure out how long we want it I kind of want these numbers like this. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I think that'll work. Uh, getting hungry. Don't you hate that? It's like, I don't want to stop and eat. Leave me alone, stomach. And then I can't ever figure out what to eat. So I stand down there and stare randomly in the kitchen at, like, what? Silliness, I know. Um... even that up. I do want to do a thumb notch, but I will be doing a tinier one on this. I want to ink that. And I might add some blue to it, like um, just a little blue with the water and dip those edges in there. Did I put that away or is it over here? Hold on just a second. That. And my water. <laughs> I was playing around with my uh, jelly plate doing basically this exact same thing and I did that. 
So I'll show you that one tomorrow though. That will be tomorrow's video. I'm gonna do a Valentine thing tomorrow too. So this first. Um let me add just a little bit of this too. It'll get a little bit of that from there, but oh what am I doing? Helps if you spray in the right direction, right? gonna leave it alone so I don't mess it up because <laughs> it probably will if I keep going so let me get this out of the way so I don't accidentally put something else in the middle of it um, I could do something else but it's fine all right let's do a thumb notch on this a small one just a little 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 I think that's about middle. And I'm using, what is this one called? Mermaid Lagoon is what gives you that kind of turquoisey color. There's that and then this icy blue that's in this digital. Both of those colors are in there, that kind of icy blue and the turquoise in spots. I'm gonna add this little, where did it go? Maybe I'm not gonna add it. Oh, I like this, just this little 1902 thing. I don't know why. But it says crematory right above it. <laughs> I don't really want that on there. <laughs> that was from that old book I had um, with the cool images of the pe uh, Los Angeles like school board and police officers and police chiefs and just all kinds of stuff so yeah it had neat stuff but it also had just tons of you know numbers and dates and yeah it was very cool this is like part of a Um, map. Words, Amy. Okay. All right. So that will get glued down this side and across the bottom and it'll be a nice big pocket I'm not totally sure what I'm going to put in it yet but I'll find something I'm sure of it oops getting glue everywhere oh my gosh <laughs> that shaky hand thing is cruel Okay, it would obviously be better wait until yours is totally dry before you glue it because it's obviously going to come out a lot better if it's dry all the way. It's a little tricky when you're doing a video. Alrighty, so that's what we have today is two envelope pockets. I think they're fun. I think that um, you'll find use for those in your journals and hopefully it's an idea I mean I have no idea if anybody else has um, done like this one with all the pockets on it probably or at least something similar and then this of course is just a, a plain pocket which loads of people have done um, envelope pockets but it was kind of fun using the security design if you like it you know it's kind of a fun thing to to see for a change so yeah so there's our two pieces for today. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I'm sorry the front cut off. I hope that it's all there, but we'll see. I will chat at you guys again tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye.